Hi there. Hey, I want to compare two wonderful guitars. These are 17-inch guitars. First, we have a Tau Farlow, and then we have the Heritage 550. The 550 is patterned after the Tau Farlow. Tau Farlow being made by Gibson. Heritage is 550 by the people that used to build for Gibson and now have their own company. All right, so when we look at these two guitars, <clears throat> first off, both of them have a pressed maple top. Uh, maple sides and back. Now, I don't know if they're pressed or solid. I believe the Heritage is a solid sides and back. Um, <clears throat> the Heritage is a guitar that is, it's, I think, just got a real beautiful look to it with the finish. Um, but the uh, appointments on the Tal Farlow are really spectacular, aren't they? With that little curly cue up here. And I like that. So on this guitars, these two guitars, this one is equipped with shallower pickups. And of course, the Tal Farlow has their own Gibson pickups. So we're going to take a listen to both, and we're going to compare them. Both have a rosewood fretboard. Uh, the 550 has a three-piece maple neck, and the Tal Farlow has a five-piece maple neck. If we take a look at the necks in back, you can see that. Okay, so again, five piece on the Tau Farlow neck, three piece on the Heritage. Both are beautiful, beautiful backs. Again, the Tau Farlow has a little more binding, five ply binding, three and five. Up the, this is single ply binding in the back anyways, in the front it's, yeah, in the front it's several ply. All right, let's take a listen to them. Okay, for our comparison, I'm gonna use the Bebop Tune Pen Up House. Both guitars are strung with my flat wound strings, uh, Diodario flat wounds, my own custom gauge, and uh, we're going direct through the board right into the computer most of the time, the volume is up all the way. Tone control is rolled off to about eight. There you have it. Let it rip. Thank you. 
Okay, for uh, without a track, let me just play, uh, I'm going to play the tune Laura a little bit with just a pick, some chord melody, so you can hear the guitar by itself. going to uh, go ahead and play that song Laura again now on the Tal Farlow. One thing I noticed as soon as I picked this up, the Tal's got a bigger knack on it uh, than that guy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're going to have Wes edit between those two versions so you can hear those guitars in action.
playability on the 550, right? The way it's set up, a little easier to play. I like the look of this Tal Farlow. I, when I pick up a guitar, I like to be wowed by it. And uh, although this is stellar too, beautiful guitars. Both would be, uh, maybe great guitars to have in your collection. I don't know if I could pick one over the other. They both sound great. Playability is great. They look great. So, uh, man, they're just two wonderful guitars. If I had to make a choice, Sophie's choice, I'd be stressing over it. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. Two stellar guitars. Playability is about the same. The neck's a little fatter on this guy, a little thinner on this one. Uh, by the way, I did raise the pickup rings off the top other, on this one. Other than that, they're pretty much the same guitar. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you later. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.